Your Excellency. I am so pleased to see you again. The pleasure is shared. Captain. Good day, Jonas. What can I do for you? What do you think of your new captain? He knows how to make people obey him. And runs a tight ship. What else is there to say? He's a captain. I'm only a cabin boy. Does he get on well with Alba? He was suspicious of her at first. But when he saw that she was trustworthy, he treated her like one of our own. But when she disappeared, he told us that she didn't have what it takes to be a nod. He spoke of treason, that sort of thing. I imagine he regretted having trusted her at all. Anything else, Your Excellency? I'm afraid I need to be going. Watch out for yourself. Hello. You need something? What do you think about Captain Reuben? I know what it's gonna sound like, but I liked it better when you were captain. Thank you. Heartfelt. But tell me why. He's a good captain, but he lacks team spirit, if you know what I mean. He's aloof. Doesn't get along with his crew. You're still far from the mark. To him, we're nothing more than lackeys. The only one who gets a smile from time to time is the pretty Gretchen. One of the girls from the tavern. She scratches his itch. As soon as he can, he's off to the brothel. Must cost him a right fortune. <laughs> he should be careful. A debt with a coin guard is like sailing near a storm. When pride and dare to your masters, it can push you to desperate measures. You afraid he might do something stupid? Perhaps. But keep that to yourself, if you would. Anything else? I need to go. Farewell. Smooth sailing. Good day. What can I do for you? We have a few questions to ask you, Flavio. I'm all yours, Captain. What do you think about your new captain? He is fair, decisive, and he certainly knows the sea. But he keeps his distance. As if he wasn't a member of our species. And since we got here, it's been worse. He seems... Uh, troubled. The slightest disagreement puts him over the edge. But uh, never mind me. It's not my place to judge my captain. He's got responsibilities I can't fathom. Anything else? I need to be off. Perhaps we'll meet later. Farewell, then. Hello, my darlings. It's rare to see the upper crust in here. It must be my lucky day. Do you and yours want to have a good time? I could call a few friends. I'm sorry, but I'm not here for that. Really? What would you like, then? I was told that Captain Reuben liked you a lot, and that you spend a lot of time with him. He's one of my regulars, it's true. He always asks for me. But it's because I'm the sweetest. Does he confide in you? Sorry, my dear. But what's between my clients and me is nobody's business. How about a change of scenery? and a chance to work in a more luxurious environment. Become a courtesan. But don't you need connections to get there? I'm the legate of the congregation and the governor's cousin. So? Oh, I'm not stupid enough to miss such a chance. What do you want to know? Did Reuben tell you about his relationship with his men and his superiors? Oh, yes. He's always complaining about it. He was hoping for a promotion. He wanted to be appointed fleet commander. But they only changed his ship. And the crew is nowhere near his level. And his admiral despises him. He says everyone is unfair towards him and doesn't recognize his talents. And it has turned him bitter. Have you noticed him change lately? Yes. He's become impatient and anxious. He has become suspicious too. Did he tell you about his plans? Like everyone else, he likes building castles in the air. He told me that he would soon be someone very important and very rich. And that he would marry me. 
<laughs> but they all say that. Thank you, Gretchen. I'm done. All that this young woman told us only confirms our suspicions. This man is a complete traitor. We should follow him after dark. We may be able to catch him in the act. We can see everything from here. Here he is, red-handed. The sellout. Shall we arrest him? We should first find out what he puts in the box. Let him finish. The way is clear. Now, let's take a look at this box. The captain and his buyer should meet here at nightfall. This must be where the exchange will take place. We should put this message back in its place. Nobody should know that we've read it. And we should warn the Admiral immediately. She'd want to know. Let's go. Desarde, what can I do for you? We know a little more. Reuben continues to use the dead drop, and has made an appointment with his buyer. He has quite the nerve to continue using that box, even though he knows you know about it. He must have thought that we would not come back. The meeting is tonight. This could be a good time to get the proof we need. What do you think? That's an excellent idea. I will come with you. I want to see this traitor fall with my own eyes. From this position, we'll be able to see the meeting discreetly. Perfect. I can't wait to witness it. This traitor is going to find out exactly what it costs to make fun of us. Men of the coin. Our greedy captain has gotten together with them. The wretched traitor. How dare he sell us to lawless mercenaries. Come on, if you're there. This traitor got what he deserved. Is everything all right, Admiral? It's nothing. Sorry to have charged like that. I got carried away. I couldn't bear to see this traitor sell his whole family for a few coins. Do you want us to tend to your wound? No, I'll go back to port and get back on my feet. Find the documents. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you, the three of you. He was ready to sell more than just his own knowledge. There are plans for machines and ships that he must have stolen from elsewhere. In addition to a substantial sum, Reuben is also going to obtain a major post on the continent. Everything is here. We'll give it to the Admiral tomorrow. Desarde, what can I do for you? How are your wounds? I recovered fast. It was nothing. Did you find the documents he intended to sell? Yes, here they are. But there was more than just his journal. So, he lusted after a prestigious position. And what a salary! I see that our secrets are still worth a fortune. Thank you for bringing me all this. As for you, Alba, I owe you an apology. I should have trusted you. You have nothing to do with it. The captain did everything to make me appear guilty. No. If we put the same trust in the volunteers as in the Seaborns, this would never have happened. We owe you a lot, Desarde. I will not forget it. Nor will I forget the lesson. Be sure of it. You have my full gratitude. Anything else? I need to be going. 
Until we meet again, Admiral. <laughs>